guys! It is currently 7.30 a.m. and it is a Sunday which means I have two volleyball trainings which is why I decided to make it my very first vlog ever. Since my first training is very early in the morning, the first thing I do is wash my face to wake myself up. After that, I make sure to eat my breakfast so I can have energy for the rest of the day. While I was eating, I found my prize as camper of the day from our last training. After eating, I brush my teeth and start getting my stuff ready for my two trainings for the day. I make sure that I have extra clothes and jerseys that I will need for both trainings and make sure that my other stuff are inside my bag so I won't forget anything. After that, I change into my hoodie because it is currently raining outside and I don't want to get cold. I also make sure to bring my aqua flask since I have two trainings and I don't want to get dehydrated. And I also brought out my umbrella since it is currently raining outside. I left the house around 8 a.m. since my first training starts at 9 a.m. And I will just commute to go to my training. The rain wasn't as bad as I thought it would be so I just rode the jeep since it is much cheaper and it is the easiest way to go to España where my training is. I got there a little earlier than expected so I started getting ready by tying my hair while waiting for the coaches and my other teammates. Here is me and my teammate change into our jerseys. After that, I make sure to put on my volleyball gear such as my knee pads and my shoes so that when the coaches arrive, I'll be ready for the training. So at exactly 9 a.m., we start our training usually with a prayer and of course greeting our coaches. We immediately start our warm-up which is essential to any sport. Today our warm-up mainly contains core and leg workouts and stretching and basically getting our bodies ready for the drills that we're about to do. So the first drill that we did was a spiking approach. It helps us to have a good form when spiking and also to have a proper landing when we jump. The next drill that we did was blockings since it was taught to us very late in the training. And again, it is just to help us to have a proper landing when we block. Once in a while, me and my teammates find time to goof around while the coaches are not looking. After some spiking drills and blocking drills, we immediately go to ball drills, especially ball control receiving and setting. Today, the coaches wanted to focus more on receiving and ball control, so they made the drill where we had to receive their services and attacks. To be honest, I enjoy this drill because I started playing volleyball as a libero and taught myself to have a good receiving posture and have proper ball control.
after that, we were surprised that our coaches wanted us to do a three-man drill, which is very exhausting, but also fun to do. My first training usually ends at 12 noon, but I left a little earlier than expected because I have a second training and it starts at 11 a.m. and is at a different location than where my first training is. Unfortunately, I was not able to film our warm-up and drills during my second training because my coach is very strict and we're not allowed to hold on our phones while taking a break or anything. But luckily, I was able to film this one-man drill. Basically, this drill is for our ball control and endurance. It is just you alone in the court trying your best to receive the ball that the coaches throw wherever it is. And yes, that is me, clearly struggling just to keep up with the balls that the coaches are throwing. Clearly exhausted and tired already. <laughs> After the training, we immediately start our tune-up games with the other teams. Our Ates and Kuya start playing while we watch and support them and getting all the rest that we need. As soon as the coach tells us that we're the next to play, we immediately start warming up since we were just watching at the sidelines. So this is us during the game. I am currently playing as the libero for the team. I was initially an open spiker but recently the coach changed my position to libero. I'm still adjusting to be a libero again, but since the team needed a libero, I'm very much happy to help and support the team in order to win. After the games, we just usually sit down and chat, catch up with each other. After the training, I usually take a shower and then my parents come pick me up and they bought me some after-training food to get my energy back up again. So yeah, this is my typical Sunday and I just wanted to share it with you guys since volleyball is one of my major hobbies and I enjoy playing it. And I hope you guys like this video. I'll be making vlogs again real soon. So please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. See you guys again next time. Bye!